Why is the book considered the very No. Is it quiet? Sorry. I know. Why like it? Well, into the book. Not a lot on my mind. Uh, yeah. Back to the book first. And I'm dripping Would you like to talk about it? the building for a reason. Well, really. Into the pit. Great enough to rent this quiet book. car ride? Things really breaking yeah. my way today. Yeah. Look, Penny hit me with some pretty big news. First thing first. Oh, you want to have children? Book number one. Oh, I find out now. Oh, I might see the last of the hospital in mine. In my opinion, Eleanor, I have no to the favor of the Um, Eleanor is a replica. There is no evidence why I say that. But Sturgis stated that at the very near the end of the timeline, after she got booted out again and tried to stress all the and it's very broken. And by the end of Kitchen Simulator, and I still get the third ending, uh, during the ending, I think it's called, uh, everything burns. And so there would be uh, sorry, no way you're right. uh, that this baby could have been even remotely intact. Well, if he was, <laughs> he'd be barely minimally cool. intact. Also, Stretch of Saviors and Dead Baby, both of their bones, do not have a giraffe like neck, like a really long neck. And Eleanor is in mint condition. She is perfect. I have known the book that Sarah described her as beautiful, I'm pretty sure. And a broken up animatronic with a stuff with a claw hand and broken jaws that I call beautiful. Just in my opinion. And also, Eleanor, in a scrapped image of her book, does have a giraffe like neck. So that's why I think she is um, not the best baby. Um, another question I have for this story I don't think most people questioned it. Um, it's the last question, but I sure did. What was that necklace that Sarah wore to, um, that, that Eleanor was with her? To prevent her from, you know, the villain who jumps by. So was it an illusion deck? Maybe. Maybe you like the illusion deck is against her, like, careful, like, tandem part of the universe against being in that scrap image. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, the, um, the, um, the illusion deck is the best thing I have. So tell me in the comments. I'm really excited to hear your opinions on this. Seriously. I know most people don't read twelve, but I mean, if Cody says come the sexy scene and looking in comment sections, uh, there's really a few parts that I enjoy crying, some of the bigger ones. But I actually really enjoy uh, reading my comments, reading the comments, and um, I look on my YouTube videos to see if there's any comments. I get really excited and they're in there. So sometimes you guys want to share your thoughts and opinions on the video. It helps me out. Okay. Um, I would start talking about the kind of away story, or the one with Millie. But the thing is, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> and so I don't really have much input on it yet. Um, so, uh, that's one of my bullet points to discuss with the Aggies. Because yes, I did strip this I was being filmed as if. Uh, you can see it in the back of my glasses, actually. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but, you know, I can just improv the rest of this. So, um, into the pit. Time traveling ball pit. Um, I believe there is importance to it. I believe, in my theory, um, that that ball pit and the sticky, 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 almost as of a glue on it, from what I can gather. Um, ball pit balls? I believe, just like Game Theory believes, one of the kids died in the ball pit. Game Theory jumps to the conclusion of Cassidy, uh, the whole, um, the, uh, I can't think of it. Um, I forgot the English language. 
Um, supposedly, there we go. Supposedly, possessing Golden Freddy. Um, she's the one that's with Closet Worst Place, and she has like, the one with black hair. The one that we figured I came up through the worst place in the Survival Love Book. Yes, Cassidy. <laughs> Um, I actually don't think it's her that got in the ball pit. I think she's part of the other four that were in the, um, Sleeping Children's incident. Because, well, yes, um, she could have done anything to any of the children who didn't have to come back to William. I believe that all of them went together, because they all, um, the newspaper says five missing children. Wouldn't, if the ball pits were sticky with blood on them, wouldn't they have found the body? That's, that's my hypothesis. Uh, yeah. I believe somebody did find the ball pit though. I don't know, um, exactly who, but I have a theory that somebody did find the ball pit. Um, that wasn't Cassidy. Again, don't know who, but, you know. As I get more off of the books and I start finishing more of the books, I might not have. Uh, oh shoot, sorry. This is the thing about improv. You, for you forget the English language. Yeah. Uh, next we'll move on to the Blackbird story. One of the few stories that I've actually finished, along with uh, To Be Beautiful. Yes, I finished To Be Beautiful and have not finished To Be Beautiful. I think I did To Be Beautiful first. Okay. Blackbird. Um, I didn't do this for the other, um, the, the other two beginning stories because everybody knows them already. Uh, I don't know if people know Blackbird as much, but I finished the story so I can tell you without a doubt what it's about. Um, Blackbird is about the is about the main character Noel. Um, he was a bully in his boss, and now he's doing a college project with another kid, Sam for their um film festival their filming class and it has to be like a horror thing i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure this has to be or something and th they had the idea of doing a fnaf theme uh, thing based off of the legends of freddy Fazbear's pizza and they made a fake animatronic called blackbird basically blackbird is meant to um find is it's meant to um know all of your um has to say stuff like that, like all the things you did wrong in your past, and you either have to um, fix them or you like what? And um, Sam was meant to play Blackbird because Sam is a nothing at all. And um, they had this suit already, uh, Sam had it already, but um, Noel confessed to a bullying people, but Sam was really proud of it, he had a smirk on his face, I think. <laughs> I know, it's been a while since I read the story. But I remember the main plot line. And Sam goes missing. Um, the feathers from Blackbird um, costume, along with, um, I'm pretty sure, a blood of blood, were found on train tracks. And so um, everybody thought he was dead. And Noel was raised out. And after that point, um, he kept hearing feathers down. He kept seeing a corner of his eye, a black, like a, a big black. black. When he looked over, what did he see? He eventually found one of the people he, um, he, the boy in the past of being fat, and, and, um, he said sorry, hanging out with her a bit, and then he got a call, um, as, to, as soon as he did that, and, um, he, he didn't feel Blackbird following him anymore, like he didn't feel like somebody was following him, and then he gets a call, they're not sure who, I'm gonna be reading it, but I actually do know I'm pretty sure. Um, he says he'll be on his way, he drives over. Guess what? Oh, oh, by the way, it's been a day since the incident. Um, it's Sammy, boys! Yeah, um, he broke his arm, and I'm pretty sure his leg. And, uh, yeah. Um, apparently he just went missing for a bit because they couldn't find him because he tumbled down a hill. My theory on that story... Sam was it had turned into Blackbird because we know that he got mad at Noel for doing all that stuff and left. He stormed out. So what if um Sam became the Blackbird when he went missing and he died and when Noel finally um truly said sorry to the person that he wronged that he managed to get in contact with, the game stops and people find him. 
just a theory, just a thought, if you ask me. Um, second story, the real Jake. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Jake is, um, kind of like a comparison towards Evan. His name's not, we don't know if his name's Evan. I'm just going off what the game says saying. Um, Evan. Yeah, the crying child from FNAF 4. The one that gets bit in the body of the Yeah, that kid. Um, because both of them have something wrong with their brain. Evan has his head full of drool by Fred Bear. Um, and Jake, I'm pretty sure was that they had a similar brain. I know, I haven't finished reading the story yet. I have done it though. And, um, yeah, and so, and they're both, um, Jake is, um, bedridden in a hospital. And I'm, yeah, he is, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, Evan would have been after that incident. They would have gotten him to the hospital trying to treat him. As in FNAF 4 Nights, when you look around at the bed, sometimes there's an Easter egg. You can see flowers and see. And like a lip bag at a hospital. I'm so sorry if I wasted your time. Something that would have appeared in a hospital. The same result here for medicine. And of course, the flowers that would have given to him of support and stuff like that. Yeah! Flowers are in the hospital or something. I don't know. Flowers. Yeah. Eve. Um, it's not directly to him, but I'm pretty sure it's a comparison to him. Yeah. Um, third story, I forgot what it was called, okay? Um, Kevin's book, haven't even, haven't even looked at the first page yet, so, yippee Let's go to Gumdrop Angel. One of the books that I actually predicted the ending for, then watched the Game 3 episode. Because, like, I, I thought, wait, 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 this is what I pieced together based off of the story I had so far. I was like, wait. And then I was, and then when um, Matt Pat, um, over pre reviewed or something like that, like, oh, 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 reviewed the story, I found out I was right. <sighs> um, yeah. My only thought for the story was the starting from Captain Hunter and for a human. Uh, in the beginning of the story, um, when you're at Freddy's. I honestly don't know. Because I haven't finished. I don't know if they confirm it or not. <laughs> Uh, second story, Sergio, Sergio, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Also, sorry for the game, yes, my glasses keep keep um, clearing up, bottom up, or so so. Sergio's lucky day, so I'm gonna call him Sergio, just cause I don't know how to pronounce his name. But, uh, yeah. Um, evil balloon boy. Sorry, lucky boy. Cool. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this just shows us that there's even more Balloon Boys and Balloon Boy JJ's and Dee's besides the Dee Dee, Dee that actually appears in Snap World. I found her in Snap World. Uh, BB or Balloon Boy who appeared in Snap too along with JJ. Uh, that's just showing us that there's more of them. Fun. Yay. Um, so, that's all I have for that story because I haven't read it yet. Um, last story, what we found. Oh, sorry. Sorry, the computer went dead. Uh, last story, what we found. It's just a read something of FNAF 3, so I honestly have nothing to say except the pea colors in FNAF 3 are disgusting. And when I played it for an hour with my cousin that I uploaded like a, a long time ago, I fought Phantom Foxy with Springtrap. I haven't clipped anything. I might do that like later on. Um, I thought Phantom Foxy was Springtrap for a second when they jump shoot me. And I was like, oh my oh god, it's just Springtrap. And then my cousin was like, not, not, not a Phantom Foxy, but the fact that I screamed. Like, I screamed at Phantom Foxy because I thought he was Springtrap. And then my cousin was like, ah! <laughs> she didn't expect me to scream. That was fun.
Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, dog so full today because I don't have any more written on my script. I haven't read most of the stories. I have very few books. And uh, lots of screen time lost by problems and back at things. <laughs> Yay! There's still no one. I haven't plugged it in very well. And my glasses keep falling off. I'm probably going to stop the folding here. Maybe I'll pull more later. Oh, yeah. Bye! See you on either next month or if um, I'm going to record more um, in the next clip. I don't know. <laughs> See you, noobs and pros.